Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Deborah, and today I'm going to do an inspiration video. And I'm inspired by something I saw in this Somerset Studio magazine. But the first thing I wanted to show you is something that is also in here. And I just wanted to replicate it for myself. So I'm taking my paper dolls, as you can see. And I'm going to grab this dude here. So not my idea, but I just thought it was adorable and wondered why somebody or I didn't think of it before. And clearly the person who did is very, very clever. So I just need to grab a tiny paper doll. And see if I've got one of these little ones. I need a tiny one so I forget. Sometimes you've got to get lots out to find the little ones. Is this the smallest? No, this one's smaller, I think. Here you go. And what they did was they put the little doll on his arm, like that. Isn't that adorable? Like she's a little, you know, a bird sitting on his arm. I think this one would work in a similar way. If you took him away, I don't have a bigger one of her, so I probably need a bigger one. But if I had one that size, she would also sit really well on that hand. But this is just too cute. It's just beautiful. Look at that. And again, as I said, something that I never ever thought to do. So kudos to the person who did, and I'll show you. Here it is here. Donna Scott, Dallas, PA. So that's Pennsylvania, I think. Isn't that lovely? How she sat the little girl on the hand of that dude. There you go, really pretty. Okay, so today I'm wanting to do something like this. So I've made some houses before, but now I really want to be inspired by this idea of taking these and seeing what I can make with them. So I'll just pop this away and I have some paper, which is here, just some scrap paper, Tim Holtz paper. And I've got some paper dolls, but I've also got this book, which I'm hoping will have images of houses in it. Now, I didn't pay $6, certainly. I paid about a dollar for this, I think. But I was just looking for like, that's a bit of a shack rather than a house. And I don't know if they've got anything. Well, this one here might be all right. I want a little picture. What's on the back? Oh, there's some other houses. Let's rip this one out. There's something like that's lovely, but it's way too big. I need little. I don't think I'd be hurting it by cutting. No, that'll be fine. Now, where's my scissors gone now? Oh, here they are. I know I bought them over from the other table at last. So if I cut this out... this book in the cupboard for ages. I just wondered if there were any other smaller houses that I might find in here. Oh, I like this one. And I keep meaning to get it out. And I have used it before, but I haven't, haven't used um, much of it. So that's why I thought it was a good one when I saw the inspiration. Now, it's been absolutely pouring here. So much so that I couldn't even do anything until later today because the noise of the rain on the roof was really, really loud. I think we've had about 15 mil already just this morning. And that is a fair bit. Now I thought that some little paper dolls on here might look all right. I'm not sure, just like they're, you know, standing out the front of the house. Yeah. Sorry, I know this is noisy when I undo them, but I like to keep my paper dolls individual in their bags because otherwise I can never find what I'm looking for. So something like that maybe with the little man stand, little boy and the puppy dog. Something like that. Maybe he can stand on this side. Bit of Australiana there with the old farmhouse it's beautiful 
it looks doesn't look like it's straight though I'm sure it is but it just looks a bit off no it's not I did straighten it in the cutter so I'm not sure why I think it might not be now what else can I put on here to kind of enhance it so continuing on I've just been into my stash of stuff and pulled a few things out and most of it I probably won't use but I've got the little photo and I've also got the people and I thought that these field notes actually I think these might be the snippets anyway whatever they are they're really really tiny and because it, the house is little I can do something with them I think so some of these are a bit big although that one doesn't look too bad there actually but I thought some flowers along the front maybe even a mushroom or two although well, that's a bit tall might look really nice along the front of the garden oh, maybe I'll fly the British flag <laughs> don't think I have an Australian flag in these only the probably the US one somewhere and the British one I'll kind of put that there now when I finish this I'll probably use it as a pocket in a journal because it's a six by four six by four tall should say I want the people to be standing down on the edge here there's already a bush behind them so I thought I could just put some more floral stuff around their feet I know they're probably a little bit big but you know we have to have a bit of fantasy in this world of making little things like this just trying to find some little flowers so like this one here is probably a similar color you can sit behind there so he looks like he's standing against another bush I'll just trim these off and then I'll have another look at it see what else I want to do now you wouldn't have to trim these off but I do like to trim I think it just gives it a bit of a more polished piece see now that's gone I think that's much better and when you look at it and don't sort of think about it you, it does actually look like the garden bed outside the house so I'm just wondering if that yeah I need to cover that bit there that bit is the edge of the photo and it's bothering me okay so now I want to put maybe a label on it down here now I know this is a bit weird but I'm wondering about whether I put this bird up here once I cut the things off it hang on I'll cut the wings and that off and just have this bird swooping in <laughs> is that a bit weird hmm I think I'm going to do it because I think it's a bit strange and I like strange so let's put the bird down look I can always cover it up if I don't like it that's what I figure you can always fix something if you don't really like what you've done now, I don't want him to be over the roof as such which way does the bird go like that do you think yeah probably there and now I'm literally going to clip his wings I think it's quite good it's a bit different so I think that's probably enough on that one I really like that so I will be able to create a pocket with that so let's have a look at this other one I cut this is very formal isn't it this one I think I've got something now it's been a bit 
difficult or not difficult but you know I have to look at the different dolls and see how well they work but I really like the idea of this lady leaning on the top of the house I'm going to get enough in if I do that. It's just, they'll have to sit above the pocket a little bit, or I can create another different thing. This has got little cutouts in it, didn't realise. Hang on, I've got to get them out. So let's try and get this down. I'm just going to put this on here so she's leaning on the roof, and the heads will stick up above and then the little girl go out the front so that's what I've decided let's stick it down before I change my mind again I wasn't sure if I needed a larger piece of backing paper or not but I think if I move this down like that and then sit them up now I definitely want her dress to be over the edge Now I've got this picture here which is a picture of um, Governor Macquarie's house maybe and I'm going to cut the roof line out this time. This is also from the magazine Inspiration. I've done scrapbooking pages like this one in particular that I did where I lived in the city and I went around and I took pictures of all the houses in the inner city that you know near where I lived and I created a scrapbook page out of it by trimming around all the houses and putting them all on top of one another so they kind of look like a terrace. I have to see if I can dig that out and show you. Okay so I need to really glue some things on because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. I'll start with the house and I'm only going to glue some of the sides and the bottom so that I can tuck things behind it and then I've got the cupola which I'm also going to glue so it looks like another house maybe I could find another house but this one sort of in keeping with the style of it and then I want to maybe put like this man or boy here I want to put this dude here too. Alright, so finally I've found a couple of people to stand here in front of it. Now, I'll put her down as well so that we've got the three of them there. I really wanted to find something that would hide where I've cut the cupola off. So this seems to be doing it. I just had an idea but it's probably a bit silly to put them so their feet are all sticking up out of the house. Let's have a look. Now oh, that's a bit much I think. <laughs> I might do that on a different piece though but it might be a bit much for this particular piece. That's an idea, I can save the legs for another time. And then I was going to put little, little people in here. So it's going to kind of, you know, have little people peering over the top of the roof. Oh, maybe I'll put the little girl standing on the roof though. Have I got a smaller one of her? Or is that tiny? I think that's the smallest, isn't it? Yeah, pity she can't stand on the roof. Maybe she can stand on the coppola. She could. She can just be balancing up there. I'll say thank you to that lady in the magazine who showed that. Brilliant. Now I'm going to be doing it all the time. This is the thing, I have to stop myself standing this little girl. She's like a little Tinkerbell or something. I'll have to stop her standing on things, won't I?
and I need a few more people popping over the top of the thing. What about her? Off they come and not only that, I'm chopping them apart as well. So I want the guy here, like that, and I'll put her on the other end. And I quite like this flower, I just spotted on the table. So I think I'm going to chuck it on here. I'm just cleaning up those paper dolls and this was stuck in amongst them. And I thought, why not put it on here? Oh, here, what about this? Private collection specimens. So it looks like I've collected people. <laughs> That's a bit creepy. I don't mean it like that, really. Sometimes I wonder what's going on in this head of mine. So these are the three that I've done. And I'm rather happy with them. What do you think? So let's just go back to the inspiration for them, which is the... Somerset Studio Magazine. It is the August, September, October 2020 issue and it is on page 139. Well these are and these are the ones that I was inspired by. So what do you think? Have I made a good showing of it? And this is where I took inspiration for putting you know the large people on top of the roof they've just got that there and then the little girl sitting there and I don't think there's any more like that on these pages oh yes there's another one so I want to say thank you very much to the ladies in Somerset Studio magazine I think you know these are very much in my sort of style but I've used that as an inspiration that the magazine is inspiration which is I think how it should be used so overall I'm super happy and I will see you in tomorrow's video